The installation of the floating barriers by the Chinese Coast Guard in Bajo de Masinlok is a violation of the Philippines' rights within its Exclusive Economic Zone or EEZ. Department of Justice or DOJ Secretary Crispin Boying Rimulia said it is in the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, wherein China is bound to abide as signatory. He emphasized this critical international accord and further underscored that Philippine authorities retain the rightful capacity to dismantle these barriers. And if it's within our economic zone, exclusive economic zone, then we will just declare it to be such and that uh, it's a violation of our, our right to exclusive economic zone and we can remove the same. To avert potential conflicts, Rimulia stressed that the Philippine Coast Guard or PCG rather than military should be tasked with this responsibility. It will be a civilian undertaking under the Coast Guard. Uh, we will not make it a military undertaking, but a civilian undertaking. In a strategic move, the DOJ plans to convene with the Department of Foreign Affairs and the Office of the Solicitor General to chart the course ahead on this pressing matter, exploring potential avenues such as initiating a fresh case against China. This case would address the substantial environmental harm wrought by China's persistent activities in the region. We have to agree within the executive branch on what to, how to treat this uh, legally, uh, how to treat the incident. But uh, that is, uh, I'm giving you the legal point of view that this may be a violation of our rights under the United Conve Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Dante Amento, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.